Hey YouTube, what's up? This your boy Ray Mac from Ray Mac's Kitchen and Grill. Y'all tuned in in the right channel. I'm telling you right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do is a homemade, okay, semi-homemade strawberry pound cake, and we're gonna use some of this here Duncan Hines Strawberry Supreme Moist Pound Cake, um, well, Moist Cake Mix to make it happen, y'all. This is gonna be a fairly easy recipe that you could definitely do. It's that time of year where somebody need to go ahead and make the dessert for the cookout or whatever the case may be. So this is one of these easy ingredients that I'm gonna show you guys how to put together. And it's gonna be quick, simple, plain Jane, and straight to the point. So right down here, I have the ingredients for you. So go ahead and, and aim down, and I want you to go ahead and listen to these here ingredients and do the recipe. So let's get into it. Now for our glaze for the pound cake, we're gonna use one fourth stick of butter, melt it, I'm gonna melt this. And then we're gonna use some strawberries that I do have chopped, I'm gonna say within the proximity of about two tablespoons. And then I also wanna add about one and a half cup of powdered sugar. This is gonna take care of our glaze. Now for the cake, what we're going to do is we got a box of this here, Duncan Hines cake mix. That's a supreme mix, all right? Then we're going to add two tablespoons of flour, a half a teaspoon of baking powder. We're going to use a half a box of this here, strawberry jello. Um, you need about three ounces of this, but this is a six ounce box, so I'm going to use half of this here packet. And then we have three fourths of cooking oil, which is vegetable oil. And then we have four eggs, all right? This is four whole eggs. And this is half a cup of water, all right? Half a cup of water. And you're gonna need about three fourth cups of fresh strawberries chopped. So these are all of our ingredients to make this here pound cake. So let's go ahead and start this recipe and make our pound cake. It's the best you've ever had. No joke, let's go. Now the first thing I wanna do, I got my melted butter. This is one fourth teaspoon of butter, which is a half a stick of butter. I wanna add it to that bowl. And then I wanna go ahead and take my powdered sugar, okay? I wanna add this to the bowl as well. I'm gonna leave the measurements below for you guys in the description in the show more section. And then I wanna take these here chopped strawberries. I got three right here that's not chopped. I'm just gonna cut those at the end, just make, Put it on top of the cake once it's finished. Get all that. Set these to the side. Now I just want to take my spatula and just incorporate it. Now if you want to make you a syrupy glaze um, on top of that stove, you could definitely do that. Just want to get this all mixed in. Make a nice little glaze to add on top of that cake. It smells so good right now. Get all that powdery sugar. Now, at this point, you could taste this just to see how sweet it is. And the colors did incorporate pretty good in this glaze. Just want to get everything all the way around this bowl. All right, so now I'm done with that. See how easy that was? I just want to give this a nice little taste and I'm gonna set this to the side. So let's go ahead on with that um, the next step is for our cake, show you how easy it is to make that cake because that glaze was easy to make y'all. So let's do it. All right, so now for our cake, we're gonna take our cake mix, pop the bag open, get it on up in there. Showing y'all this at a live perspective of how I do it. Then we're going to take all of our ingredients that's left for the cake. You're going to put in your flour. You're going to put in your baking soda. I'm sorry, your baking powder, baking powder. And for your jello mix, strawberry jello mix, okay, for the strawberry jello mix. I'm going to use a half a bag of this just a half, and then I get this, use the other half for another box. All right, so we can put that back in the package, use that for another, another time, okay? Now you're gonna take your strawberries, put your strawberries in it. Get all them strawberries out of there. 
you're going to take your oil, add your oil to it, add your water, and then we're going to take our four eggs and add it into the bowl as well. Everything is well in that bowl. Then we're going to take us our mixer. You can use a stand mixer, hand mixer. You can even use the blender for this. Just to let you know how quick this is, you can use the blender and blend all of this together and it'll work just as perfect. So I'm going to take our hand mixer and mix this baby up. So we got this mixed up. We're going to have chunks of strawberry in this, okay? If you don't like your pound cakes chunky, then you could definitely add this to the um, blender and it'll blend up well. So let me show you the next step. And we're going to go ahead and put this in our, in our pan and put this in our oven. All right. So now we got a bunt pan, okay? You can use any kind of bunt pan you want. You can even use a loaf pan if you like. Now... What you could do is just take you some butter, melted butter, and hit every crevice on this or whatever the case may be, and then take you some, some flour, move the flour around. That's a good way of coating your pan. But since this got a lot of creases and crevices in it, I don't want to deal with that. So I'm just going to take some of this here um, nonstick spray, which is um, Crisco, some butter flavor, and I'm going to spray this pan, give it a nice little shake. And then I just want to hit it all over. A little extra ain't gonna help hurt nothing. All right. Now we got our pan coated. Okay. So I want to go ahead and take our cake mixture, just pour it right on up in here, and she'll be evenly spread it. So get everything out of this bowl it's an easy pound cake recipe y'all very 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 easy used to be a time where you could lick that bowl and it'll be safe to do as kids that's what we did back then how many of y'all used to take the bowl when your moms made cakes and you couldn't wait that was the last thing that you had to have that was me y'all so now with our cake what you want to do Get a nice little move around and then tap it about two to three times. Get some of them air pockets out. And then we're going to set our oven at 325 degrees. Once 325 degrees um, is set on the oven, we're going to set it, slide it in that oven and let it cook for about an hour and five minutes. And after that, we're going to go to the next step. So let me put this in the oven. I'm going to bring you right back when it's done. Going to the oven right now. Come back, y'all. Just took my cake out of the oven. This is how it looks. So, I let it sit in there for an hour and five minutes at 325 degrees. So, I just want to take me a wooden skewer, and that's what I have right now, a wooden skewer. And I just want to go and poke it in, make sure it comes out clean. And as you can see, it came out clean as a whip, so we good with that. So I'm going to let this cool down for at least around about a good 10 minutes before I flip this out of the pan because I want this to come out nice and smooth, okay? So give me about um, 10 minutes, and then we're going to go ahead with the next process. So bear with me, y'all. 
Okay, YouTube family. Now we got our cake done. It's out of the oven. We let this thing um, cool down for about a good 10 minutes. Now we're going to go ahead and turn this baby over on this um, cake plate. And then we're going to go ahead and deck it on up with our icing, all right? our glaze. Our strawberry glaze. So now, let's get into this right now. Y'all, I'm telling you right now, if you could just smell the aroma up in this here air. But let's get it on the cake plate right now. All right, y'all. I hope y'all got y'all fingers crossed for this one because I sure got mine crossed. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hope for the best. There we go. She came out easy, clean, too. She came out really clean. She really did. Okay, so she's still a little warm, and that's what we want. And it looks so good, y'all. Y'all look at this cake. You see? See how good she came out? I mean, this is really, really good. I like that mold. All right, got that at Walmart. So, we're going to take our glaze, strawberry glaze. We ain't doing nothing fancy with this, y'all. Just going to keep it plain, Jane, and simple, because she's in chunks. And we just want to spoon her right on over. Just want to spoon it right on over. No matter where she falls. Get that glaze on it. Let it soak into that cake. This is our strawberry pound cake, y'all. Let it just fall into the crevices. Spoon it right on top. Have some nice little strawberry chunks on her. Let it get inside. I mean, get all over that. And if you got to do a, you know, contribute to a cookout, Sunday dinner, family dinner, even a potluck at church, why not go ahead and make this strawberry pound cake, Ray Mac style. As you can see, she came out okay. And we got that strawberry glaze on her. She ready to rock and roll, and it smells so good up in here. So good. All right? We're going to cut into this baby, and then that's a wrap.